Hey everybody, welcome to day seven of the Golden Goblet. Very excited to bring you the top 25% Hitman gameplay. I don't mean top 25% performance, I mean literally the top 25% of the screen. Just notice that in time to make a little pivot to a little joke. It's called Improv Sweetheart, look it up. Resync that old webcam, here we are. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with uh, my competitors. Sincerely, in, in a good, positive way. I'm going into day seven. Probably the, the easy money would have been to assume that I would have been up like 5-1 right now. Just because I've played so much more than anybody else. But I told you there were openings and, and Malf in particular has squeezed in. He blew my mind. Oh, the cats are, they're meowing like crazy. He blew my mind though. Hold on. Today's contract is called I'm the Better Assassin. It's on Marrakesh. I know that we won day one, two, and four. That's pretty good, right? But Malf, I'm pretty sure, won day five. Because he DM'd me on Discord and he said, What happened on day four? And I said, What do you mean day four? I got Silent Assassin. And he said, Sorry, my bad. I meant day five. <laughs> and then he told me that he got Silent Assassin, which for me is just crazy. Oh, I'm the better assassin. There you go. Um, because that was the uh, Himapan Hotel one, which was, was a dang nightmare. So for him to get Silent Assassin on that one is actually amazing. More power to him. Day five, I thought, or day six, I should say, on Paris. I thought we did pretty well on an ambitious attempt, but... Definitely there's room there, so this could be what it all comes down to. Apparently there's this brotherhood of assassins who run around climbing buildings in their lame hoodies and assassinating people with their tiny knives. Poof, 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 what a bunch of tools. They're not real assassins. Show them that you are the superior assassin by taking them out while wearing your own iconic outfit with your own signature weapon. Okay. So fiber wire wearing this suit with Assassin's Creed style gameplay. Obviously, well, I guess we shouldn't take the measuring tape because that actually might totally screw it up. And we'll take nothing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take nothing smuggled into the mission because I, uh, I don't want any claims of resin if we pull this one out today. But I'm, I'm being 100% sincere. People think this is like a serious competition. It's a friendly competition. It's much better for me because it's better for the audience. If we have a, you know, 4-2-1, 4-3, 3-3-1, 3-2-2 sort of finish. So I, I wish nothing but the best to my competitors, to be honest with you. So... I have spent some time on the level known as Marrakesh. Um, I don't know if the night version of the map is any different. There are probably some differences. So what have I learned? I have learned the value of patience. Although I do definitely have a tendency to just pop dudes in the face. What we want to do... You think you can dump his body down the well? Even if you can't, you can shove it in there. But this guy is watching right now. So I think if you're gonna do this, you want to do something like this. And we're, we're getting right into it today. Nobody's noticed, but I'll tell you with authority, this guy may notice. You know what I think we should do? Coin, key, and then just a, just a brief distraction. Okay, well, I mean, I'm, I want to hide the body, because I'm, maybe no one will run back here, but someone could pretty easily come back here. That would be bad news for me. 
at least from a scoring standpoint, you can usually abuse sight lines a little bit. I mean, even if we just crouch here and then yeet to our heart's content as far as possible. I don't know if that'll work. Yikes! <laughs> well, if she didn't see it, maybe we're actually not that uh, bad off right now. Yeah, my man's not moving. So it's really more about his eyesight than anything else. I don't know, man. I'm like 50-50 on whether we should chance this right now. I think we might be better off and... It's a little spiced, I'm not going to deny it. We might be better off just leaving the body right there. The only other thing I can think of is maybe like... Maybe a louder object can disrupt him. No, he's he's locked in. All right, congratulations, sir. You are the only good security guard in the entire game. I am like... I would say I'm two-thirds thinking that that body's going to be discovered. And that's okay. I mean, it... it it would ruin Silent Assassin, but I honestly don't really know what Silent Assassin even, like... Silent Assassin doesn't give us points, it's just a representation of how many points we got. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. We did get a shop key as well, so I'm, I'll tell you. I'm looking at this guy right back here, and I'm like, if you are in a shop, we probably have an easier time of taking you out. Excuse me, I'm I'm a patron of your store. <laughs> what do you mean you, your husband's gonna gonna beat me up? Yo, no, don't waste the coin. No, stop using your coins. Just pick up the sodas that are already here, dude. It's free real estate. Okay, so like if we get on the roof, that'll probably give us a leg up. Otherwise. I will admit, I'm having a hard time imagining how I'm going to get into this building without anybody noticing. We don't have the key anyway, so... Um, probably the best way to do it is to get on the roof via another avenue. So let's fixate on this one for a bit, right? Hello. I'm sorry, it's out of soda. Some jerk just kept buying it. So you, am I, am I able to walk in here? It's closed. Let's just use our brain. <laughs> Probably not, huh? So we would like to, uh, first off, get away from this music. Because you never know if it's going to be content ID matched. Then you want to see if perhaps there is a, uh, if there's the ability to climb one of these buildings. Perhaps there's a back door we can enter. Perhaps there's a, uh, a, a, a pipe. He's having a bad day. You know, I don't, I don't really want to get involved in that. What I will do is steal your coins. I apologize. Many of my coins were taken. I think he needs a doctor before he craps himself. Well, we're not busting in with the crowbar. So, I mean, we... Honestly, that guy is in a bit of a touchy spot. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Now I'm remembering. In the bazaar, I was just about to say, you can get up here, but does that really help us? I don't know, but we'll, we'll keep that in mind for, for future use. All right. So that's... We've established that's going to be a pressure point. That's going to be a tricky situation. I hate that all of these stores are closed. I'll tell you that much. But I... I think we can cheese this guy, to be honest with you. I think... Well, it's not really cheese, it's just doing things, you know, the right way. I think you just climb the drainage pipe. Hang on the edge. Wait, hold on. Can we really not get up any higher on this one? 
I thought for sure we could get up to the rooftop on this one. Maybe we gotta... Like, I thought this was my... Standard, like, linchpin to start. Okay, it actually is. <laughs> I was just confused. I was in another world. So I think we can climb... Think we can climb? Okay. See, this is what I'm telling people. I played a lot of this game, but it's been a long time. I don't, I don't even want to talk about the name of the person I eliminated either. I think that that's uh, that's unbecoming of me. Suffice to say, I apologize if this video gets demonetized. And we're just pockets are jangling with all the illicit materials we've gotten here. But to me. This feels, assuming we can get to a staircase, this to me feels like the easiest uh, kill of them all right now. So this, for sure, I'm looking at this right now and I'm going, you know what we're getting? A kill with a hidden body. And hold on, one of the guys is actually on this very roof? So how would we like to do this? Obviously, we want to fiber wire one of them. I think this is the this is the game right here. This is the whole thing. So the, there's a spot to hide the body right there. We could be discovered relatively easily. This is a soda can situation in my world. We don't want the guard to go for it, honestly. That's what I was worried about. Hello? There. It's okay. We got time. We can experiment a little bit. I, if we're going to do something, I want to do it in her blind spot so she doesn't get aggroed, obviously. So this could be a big moment right here. If we can get this guy into the corner, stealth take him out. Hey. Anyone there? No, no, no. No, no, no. Further into the corner, sir. I'm willing to spend. This is why we picked up so much stuff. I think we take our chance. I think we take our chance. I don't know, maybe you even don't silent attack him? Maybe you throw a soda can at his head? Silent takedown! Now if you'll excuse me, I need that... Can't afford that being around here. Should be some more soda cans as well, but... So I think... If you really want to use your brain, you make sure 100% she's facing the other direction. You get out the goods, and then you ice her. Okay, so that's going to be a good one. I'm, I'm starting to get a little excited, but usually I got I to gotta relax a little bit. Because I'm usually better at the start, and then I lose a little bit of focus at the end. But right now... I will say these are pretty easy so far. However, we're doing a pretty darn good job. I got nothing but, but love for the start of this. Just looking if there's any lootables. We could have just put her in there, I guess, but that's okay. So here is our staircase down. And this could be a very, very easy third kill. I would prefer to do it away from the window, obviously. So if we could just toss a coin. This map is is engineered to be my perfect challenge. And that might seem suspicious, but is really just great luck. <laughs> Even though I chose the challenges, I had no idea, you know, what we were getting ourselves into here. 
This is just, it's just coins and crates. Just coins and crates, dude. So we've only got one person left 15 minutes in. Now I will admit... You're really entering the store right now? Suspicious, but nothing else. We need to find a way... To ice that guy. So if we could get from roof to roof, that would be ideal. Now, is that possible? I honestly don't know. Uh, it seems plausible, for certain. For certain, it seems plausible. Like, we can't... Hold on. Can we... This might be outside of the bounds of the map. It is. Okay, so we can't go up that way. Um, just use your noggin, you know? Like, to me, it seems like... You should be able to go right around the outside here, maybe get on top and then and do it that way. If that's the case, I'm not saying we are unbeatable, but we have a very, very good score. If we can ice this guy, hide his body, and, and get out, you know, that's, that's pretty much as good as it gets for me. It's not to say it's not beatable, but... Pretty much as good as it gets for me. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling jazzed. Over the moon. I mean, th don't those look climbable? Th it's the most climbable uh, structure I've ever seen in my life. But this is not Assassin's Creed, so it, it might not be. <laughs> in which case, we'll need to find some other way, especially if we want to complete our bonus objectives. Like, you, we really can't just move to the right on this one. We can't. We really can't climb up any further there, so... Pretty much, we're just going down. There's gotta be a way. I don't... Oh, what about going inside of the carpet shop? Is there a staircase in here? There's a battle axe. It's a little much. Um... I'm confident, though. You don't have stair access. You don't have stair access. I see the staircase on the map, but the staircase, unfortunately, is inside of the building, I think. So, uh, we, got, we got problems in that department. And these guys, they do not wish for me to enter their facility. Which I can understand. Although I will also admit, I would very much love to. This is oftentimes where I end up screwing it up, though. So, what's my thinking? If we could get one to look the other way. And then one to come outside. Hey, check that out. Loud clear. What? Ice. Ice in the veins. No shit. Ice in the veins will not help you. <laughs> it's okay, this is why we got so many bricks. You're not gonna go check that one out? Hello, it's not me, dude. I would never besmirch the good name of the bazaar by just yeeting bricks non-stop. This lady's gonna cause me problems. I'll tell you that with 100% guarantee. What do you think about this? I was hoping this guy would come out and then I could just be like, Hello, it's me! I'm in your store now. Um, but I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. So this, this is ingenuity, dude. This is ingenuity right here. I need to access this staircase. Two guards is the worst amount of guards. Everybody knows this. One guard is no big deal. Two guards is an impossibility. That wasn't me. That was a man who looked like me. But was not me. You really... You got no respect for the brick, huh? 
I really don't want to trespass, sir. This, this is why you're stoked to pick up seven bricks, I guess. Let's focus on the positives. They're, you're really not going to investigate this. How about this one? Toss it right down Main Street. <laughs> okay. Um, there's got to be a better way. What do you think? Perhaps there's uh, there's no staircases attached to these buildings, but uh, Chechi Nespal in pipe, perhaps? I'm just vibing. What a puzzle. I mean, if we could if we could take care of Madame, it might not be such an issue. But she's going to notice if we try to break into this place. I mean, obviously. Because it's also going to make noise. Uh, excuse me, I'm just looking at the wares of the hookah location. Hey, where the hell are you from? A little personal space? Uh, look who's talking, lady! We're just going to... We're playing... Hey, I can't move. You've you've taken up my hitbox. As a result, I cannot move. What are you, the security guard? She's doing a bang up job. Excuse me, sir. Does your shop have a key? <laughs> it's an illegal action. We'll be discovered doing this, I think. Mission accomplished, boys. <laughs> They're searching. But searching is not uh, discovered. Somebody just went by and gave him a little katunk. We're in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in. Okay. What's the next step? Honestly, I think we can wait for this lady and then just get out. Like, get into the store behind her. I'm just doing squats. It's I, you do suited squats. It's good for the core. It's good for the quads. It's good for everything. You wouldn't understand. I live a life of fitness. Keep tapping your foot. I'm getting in there. I'm getting in there. Again, I feel like it's obvious. You already know this. Two people is the worst number. Two people is very, uh, is the worst possible number of individuals to have in a location. Maybe not the worst possible, but you know what I mean. Lots of people on the rooftop, too. I mean, do we need any more bricks, or... We, we still have three coins. The real question is, how do we do this? One guy is easy. Almost, almost offensively so. What do you think about a coin trail? Something like this. He's not taking the bait. Go! And then get ready to yeet. A crowbar. <laughs> He's just happy with the coin? Sir! Look, it's a little spiced, okay? Cool. <laughs> Elegant stealth takedown. 
Now give me back my stuff. What's the next step? Oh, it's all so simple. I'm glad you've asked. First off, I would probably drag this dude's body slightly out of the way. That seems pretty effective. Then, oh my. Did he actually manage to do it? Throw a coin to your witcher. Get the fiber wire out. Hope the dude's wife doesn't pop in. It's over, boys. It's over. Incredible performances. We don't need the coin. You can keep it. Just, just tuck your legs in, please. Now, we wait for Madame to move out of the way. There she goes. And we're 30 meters from a Golden Goblet victory, in my opinion. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You gotta bring your A-game when the life that you want is on the line and the deaths that you want are on the line. You gotta be dialed. You gotta be switched on. And I don't know. I mean, we did get one searching. There was a little bit of inelegance. Everything else, I gotta chalk this up as an A-plus performance by my standards at the very least. All optional objectives completed. And a five. A five star silent assassin. A five star silent assassin for the first time in my entire life on this planet. Here's the deal, you know? If that's not good enough to get the win today, then whoever got the win deserves it a great deal. I thought we did a fantastic job. Maybe one of the best Hitman missions I've ever played. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Of course, thanks for your support. We'll be back with another uh, Golden Goblet on Monday. For now, go check out Dan and Malf's perspectives. I'm eager to see how they tackled this mission, and it might have all come down to today. I'm very proud of my own performance, but anything can happen. Again, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!